Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. And look what, what we got here in North Georgia. Snow. December 8th. Probably one of the earliest snows we've ever got. We got over an inch so far this morning. As you can see on top of the, the hives there, there's, there's more than an inch, inch and quarter, inch and a half. Just really surprising. I didn't even know we was supposed to get any snow. But I just want to make a real quick video and talk about when you get snow, what you should do to your beehives. As you can see, like in this entrance right here, of course it's not piled up that much yet, but it's, it's always good to try to keep that cleared off. Now I know here in Georgia and people we don't have snow to contend with like people up north or out west. And I can imagine how much they would have to check on their hives to keep them cleared out of snow. Where this will pretty much all be melted by tomorrow. Or even this evening. So this really doesn't pertain much to people in the south. But I am originally from a northern state. We lived in the upper parts of West Virginia on the Pennsylvania line. And so I know growing up how bad snow can get. So I've experienced that years ago. And I've lived in Georgia since 87. So it's been a lot of years since a long time since we've had to put up with much snow. But it's good to keep the entrances cleared off as much as possible. We're like this, honestly, with us, you wouldn't even have to worry about that because probably by this evening or even tomorrow morning, this would all pretty much be gone. There wouldn't be hardly any snow at all. But, but I know from living up north that that can be a big problem because up there in the winter time especially when I was a kid I mean these stands are I don't know what are they uh, foot and a half tall and honestly we've had snows easily that would come up to the that would completely cover these hives up you wouldn't even know there was hives out here I remember as a kid getting snows like that and that was pretty common and that's, you know, just a little bit shy of waste time. We had several of those. So I can imagine uh, the mess it would be to try to keep your your hives breathing and uh, from smothering and getting too much moisture inside them because they don't have any ventilation. So uh, today's video is about the importance of ventilation. Even in, you know, uh, the cold, you would think sealed up tight, but it's just not true. You just don't. Those bees, if they got too much ventilation, they will propolize where you have it open if it's open too much. They know how much ventilation they'll need and they'll propolize it according to, you can pretty much guess at the, how much ventilation they need and it's not like you have to be exact because they will. You can see, look here, still got dead yellow jackets where they, they got in here. And you can see down in the hole there. No, that's not snow down in that hole. That's that's sugar. But you can see right there too. See on the on the edges where those bees have propolized around that hole. And I've seen them close them off completely and leave one just barely open. So they know they know how much to ventilate when they need to. So that's about it today. Just a little short video to uh, let people know what they need to do with their hives. It's a beautiful afternoon out here. And uh, my daughter, she's out here in her Georgia attire, petting Lizzie the bee dog. I asked her if she wanted to be in YouTube video, and she said no, but I filmed her anyway.
very pretty out today. It's just, it's going to be it, the type of snow it just sticks on the. It's a kind of a wet winter wonderland looking type snow. Very pretty. So please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook. Uh, remember, we have packages and nukes that will be going on sale around mid-March. So we'll be shipping those out then. Uh, get your order in on your nuke and package. And we'll have queens probably starting around about May. We use the first queens to stock our own hives to get everything going good. So, and also uh, around Christmas time, if anyone is interested in gift cards, we have Barnyard B gift cards. So just call our store manager, Heather, and she will take care of you. And thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.